हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल फैक्ट्स पीडिया साइकोपैथ्स साइकोपैथ्स आर नॉट जस्ट किलर्स और मर्डरर्स वी हैव जस्ट स्टेटेड एंड अटैच्ड अ टैग टू देम ऑफ मर्डरर्स दे आर पीपल हु आर नॉट एबल टू कंट्रोल देयर सेंसेस एंड कैन नॉट कंट्रोल देयर माइंड एंड आर नॉट इन मैनर ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग एनीथिंग एंड जस्ट डू व्हाट दे थिंक दे आर डूइंग even it is murder or robbery or if they have to hurt some people emotionally and physically they also not have any emotions so they don't feel any shame or guilt for what they are doing and just do the thing without thinking of what happens next but whatever they do a murder or whatever it is a crime is a crime so in this video we are going to show you some of the psychopaths who have done serious major crimes in their lives and if they were alive in today's world they can do more dangerous crimes in this world so without wasting any time let's get started but before starting the video i would recommend you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us so our first psychopath is charles manson He is one of the most infamous ring leaders in history. He has murdered many people on his own and uses his psychopathic manipulation to gain his followers in 1960s. He also resulted in murders of some of the most famous celebrities and entertainment industry heads which also includes Roman Polanski's wife and after this he was sentenced to death but the California abolished his death penalty and rather than that make him spend his life in the prison second psychopath is Ted Bundy He is also called as the synonym of the serial killer and psychopaths. He looked very nice, shy and very charming and he uses his charmness to lure his victims. He has killed up to 30 people in the United States and it took many years to catch him. As no one was believing that this man could commit any crime like this, his lawyer also described him as a heartless evil. Third psychopath is Richard Ramirez. He was also known as the Night Stalker. As this man does not have any particular preference for gender for killing, he has murdered his victims aging from 9 years old to 83 years old. He was good at killing people at night. That's why he gets his nickname the Night Stalker. At the age of 11 he witnessed that his cousin murdered his wife so that's what a psychopathic level would be and afterwards he asked him to participate in the clean up Fourth psychopath is Jeffrey Dahmer Jeffrey Dahmer was a dangerous psychopath and a serial killer who looks shows that he was very polite and he also behaves like a polite man and he was very unassuming he was not a serial killer but also a cannibal the authorities also find human heads in the refrigerator of his home which proves that he is really a cannibal but he was murdered in 1994 in prison our fifth psychopath is catherine knight She was the first Australian woman who is sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. Before she had committed a single crime, she had already a track record of her psychopathic behavior and then she murdered her partner John Price, which was very shocking for the whole world. She also attempted to kill her newborn baby and strangles her first husband for her baby's death. She stabbed John Price 37 times with a knife. She, she serves Price children a body of Price after killing and then boiling his head and different body parts. Our sixth and last psychopath is Ed Gein. He was the most dangerous psychopath of all time. There are three movies which are made on his life and his reference. These movies are Psycho in which Norman Bates is playing his character, 
Second one is Texas Chainsaw Massacre in which Leatherface is playing his role in it and the third one is Silence of the Lambs which is obviously a very popular movie and had Hindi remake which is known as Sangharsh. Ed Gein's role was played by Buffalo Bill in the movie. Ed Gein collects women bodies from around 1945 to 1957 and then he was finally caught by the police. I hope you like the facts and information. For such more interesting videos, please like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.